Welcome to the Adama Space Station, my lord. I'm Ensign Rail. I gather this visit is because you'll be travelling through to the surface of Hoth. Is there some problem here? No, no, not at all. I am merely assigned to assist. I'll be scanning you so I can customise your cold weather equipment. Then I'll arrange your briefing. There we are. As you're on the VIP list, Lieutenant Halpern will brief you. He's in the theatre. Good day. Attention, the Lord is present. At ease. Let's get this started. Ostensibly, the conflict on Hoth is over salvage from a battle that happened above the planet. In reality, it is our trap for the Republic. So, the salvage is worthless. Or is it just too hard to get to? A bit of each. There is a fairly major pirate force that holds much of what the Republic wishes to recover. The Imperial plan is not to gain ground, but rather to make the battle as costly as possible to the Republic. We want our forces small and mobile, and while the Republic keeps chasing victory, we bleed them dry of personnel and equipment. I hope there's still room in this plan for mass slaughter. I'll uh, defer to your judgment on that score, my lord. My lord, forgive the interruption. I brought your cold weather equipment. We were just finishing, Ensign. This should keep your core body temperature up. When you're ready, report to a pilot in the shuttle bay for transport to the planet. Colonel Vanis at Dawn Base will be waiting for you. Good luck down there. Plan it awaits, my lord. Commander Triton will want to meet with you. My briefing said I was to meet a Colonel Vanus. Uh, I don't know anything about that. Commander Triton's the one listed as in charge now. I'm sure he can fill you in on the story. I need to de-ice the shuttle here. I can't win, sir. I don't understand why we stay. The Republic is dug in too deep. They outnumber us three. Your advice boils down to doing nothing, and that I cannot do. Sir, I respect your bravery, but if you see this through personally, you will be dead. And whose leadership will we have then? My lord. We're glad you've arrived. May I introduce Commander Triton, and myself, a humble captain, core name, Eudrus. Lieutenant Halpin sent word you would be coming, and we've never had greater need of you. Colonel Vanis, the commander of this base, is missing. We fear he's dead, along with all the most experienced men from this base. Bring me up to speed. The Colonel went out to investigate evidence of a possible spy probe near the ice lake. He was under heavy guard. We received a distress call. It was obvious he found trouble. Scout 1 to Dawn Base. Heavy casualties. Taking heavy casualties. We're under attack. We can't see the... What on this world could take out an armed group of officers? Besides the Republic, there are Wampers, pirates. Mostly aliens unafraid of the Empire. But we can't simply cower in our base when the mission is to damage and exhaust the Republic. And our men can't do it. Commander, this visit is a gift to us from fate. Ten enemies or ten thousand, I stand ready to strike them down. The first priority is to find Colonel Vanis. 
dead or alive. After that, feel free to wreak as much vengeance as you like. Our best case scenario is that Colonel Vanis's communications tipped off the Republic, and he's gone quiet. But if I were out in that cold, I'd have called for a rescue. If you can find the Colonel, everyone on this base is in your debt. I see Commander Lanklin. My lord, I am Ensign Slint, Commander Lanklin's second in command. You've arrived sooner than expected. The commander is in the field, tracking Jedi Zerender, but has failed to report in. His tracer beacon hasn't moved for quite some time. Did he transmit any information for me? No, my lord. Transmissions on Hoth are sketchy and hard to make secure. This planet is a pitfall of hazards. There's a massive Republic presence, and all manner of power-hungry alien pirates. Our forces are stretched thin. A rescue party for Commander Lanklin would take several days to put together. I'll make sure Lanklin is brought to safety. I'm relieved, my lord. Here is the location indicated by the Tracer Beacon. It's in hostile territory. There are rumors of a heavily defended pirate stronghold in that sector. It will be hard to get in. The tougher, the better. I hope you are successful, my lord. The pirates hate the Empire. If Commander Lanklin has fallen into their clutches, I hate to think what's happened.
letting spilled blood freezes before it hits the ice here. I look forward to finding out firsthand. Colonel Vanis. He was dead. Murdered by Republic Tarls. Tarls. That would make sense. Cold adapted. Republic aligned. I've not killed their kind before. What about you, Commander? What? Yes, of course. The base awaits your orders, Commander. We are having deep morale issues in the forward outpost. I must show them that we can triumph without Colonel Vanis. Now is the time for reprisals. These chittering animals will not get away with this. I want ten of the Republic to suffer for every one of ours dead. I want every last tolls wiped out, their heads on sticks out in the frost. Anything you'd like to add? The main thrust of the plan is sensible, but given our limited knowledge, I suggest the plan be refined before use. A covert action is advisable, or we'll end up wiping out one group and causing the rest to go into hiding. I have data arrays we could install in their communications link. If we did that, we could locate and estimate their numbers before we hit them. Killing is reliable. Technology isn't. That sounds like a lesson gleaned from a life far more interesting than mine. Commander! Coming, Commander! Go ahead, Scout 5. We found a nest of tolls on the ice lake. Too many to engage. Transmitting coordinates now. Perfect timing. Brutally slaughtering a few dozen should sow fear throughout their little cabal. When you're done, report to the forward outpost. It's closer to the lake, and the men there can see your success in person.
My lord, is that you? I heard the sounds of battle outside and grew hopeful. Just tell me everything you know about Jedi Knight Zerunda. Uh, yes, my lord. Jedi Zerunda is a crafty adversary. I thought I was tracking him and his men when I found myself led into a pirate ambush. It seems he had the Republic's elite Tal's commandos lure me off his trail. The Tal's are unmatched trackers. Highly cunning. So, you know nothing of Zerinder's mission or destination? Well, I, I suppose practically speaking, that is the case. I can tell you this. If Zerinder's been given command of the Tals, this weapon he's after must be supremely important. I know where the Tals' headquarters is located. Maybe you can force one of them to confess what Zerinder's after. If I have to kill every Tals on this planet, I will get what I need. I wish there was more I could do. I hope this lead makes up for my... blunder. I'll rendezvous with you at the outpost in the next sector, and we can update Lord Barris.
that's left. Everywhere I turn, the monster appears. Why do you torment me? I'm not part of your vendetta. What? A Sith? First Zerinder abandons me. Now this? Your name, Jedi, and your connection to Zerinder, now. I am Zerinder's errand boy. The one he leaves behind to die. At least a Sith I can see and fight straight up. I won't be assassinated in the dark like these poor Tals. My master would tell me not to attack, but he's not here. Defend yourself, Sith! Go ahead and kill me. I didn't want to die at the hands of the beast anyway. I seek Jedi Zerinder. Tell me where he is and what he is searching for. Zerinder. He refused to let me come with him. He left me here to face death. The Talls warned my master about Brunmark. He's a savage Tall seeking revenge on Fitzellan and the others for ousting him. But did Zerinder care? No. Now Brunmark's in here somewhere, murdering... Wait! Did you hear that? No. He's... He's... You cannot scare me. We should work together. We are of common purpose. I'm making no promises. I'm impressed with your strength, Brunmark. Your service, my lord. Other route is confirmed.
this Jedi off my hollow, Lanklan. Now. I, I, I can't. Serend has overridden all my controls. As you can see, Barris, I control this planet. I've tapped your communications and can anticipate your every move. As Commander Lanklan knows firsthand, the Tals keep me one step ahead of even you. Your oversized commandos are on the verge of extinction. Ah, the lapdog returns. If your trainer knows what's good for him, he'll muzzle you. I'm not here for a reunion, Barris. The last time we met, you were left drained and weaponless. This time, you won't be so lucky. My lord... I... I'm sorry, I... You have failed me for the last time, Langton. In some slint, you are now coordinator of my dealings on Hoth. Don't screw it up, Commander. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Apprentice, you better have good news for me. The lost superweapon Zerinder seeks is actually a Jedi Master named Wyalet. Ah, Master Wyalet. Now I understand why Zerinder would risk exposure. Before his capture during the war, Wyalet was among the Jedi's most powerful masters. The ship transporting him to me was destroyed in a fierce space battle in this system. I assumed he'd perished, but... The ship must have crashed here on Hoth, and he's kept himself alive all this time. So it would seem. For beings that commune deeply enough, the Force can be as sustaining as rations. During the war, Zerinder was Master Wyalet's Padawan. We battled. Wyalet took my lightsaber and used it from then on. If Wyalet is on Hoth, so is my blade. I will concentrate to locate it. Yes, there. Coordinate sent, Commander. Now go, Apprentice. Find the lightsaber and the Jedi. My lord, the area indicated is an uncharted quadrant where black marketeers are said to operate. What will you have me do while you're away? Be ready if I need you, Commander. The Emperor's speed to you, my lord.
require medical attention. Be well. Hello. Good to see you, my lord. We had feared the worst. Good work. Has the base been informed? How is morale there? Gentlemen, the commander wants to know how we feel about the tolls being struck down. Excellent. That's a sound I've not heard in some time. And I understand one of our patrols spotted towels that fled rather than fight. The tides of war are with us. Without the advantage of surprise, the tiles are showing their true colors. Yes. We'll let them panic for a while as they try to figure out which body is which. We have devised a plan to put the tiles in position for a killing blow. Their supplies, weapons, medical equipment, and the high-calorie food they require, all of it is stored in one central location. They may be adapted to the cold, but without their supplies, they wouldn't last a week. So we will destroy their cache. Tell me more of this. We want them to panic and launch an all-out, last-ditch attack on us. And we'll be waiting. If I were them, and suddenly without food, I would raid this base. So we will amplify our defenses here and spring the trap shut. Unfortunately, getting out their supplies may be difficult. They are in a series of ice caves overrun by wampers. The tougher, the better. If that is the case, I suggest an alternative. We are desperately short on supplies here. If you could bring back all you find, it could make a valuable difference. But we'd need over a hundred kilos of food alone. How would anyone carry that and still fight? You'd be surprised how much I can carry. Daring, my lord. I hope you're making the right call. Take anything of theirs that gives them aid or comfort. Make them come crawling. Let them know who the masters of this miserable world are.
Let it not be said that carrying such a load through Wampus is impossible. Yes, my lord. You'll be pleased to know that we have kept up our end of the plan. The base is prepared for war. We have security fields, sensors, anti-personnel guns. We'll obliterate any Tulls that dares approach. Commander! Commander! There's reports of a Tulls attack! Excellent. What wing are they headed for? No wing, sir. They're at the power station. They're overrunning the guards. They brought bombs. These Tarls have no fear. Even when their army is at its last breath, they want to take us down with them. If they kill the power station, we'll have no heat. We'll have to evacuate or we won't last past nightfall. Don't tell me you didn't think of this. The station's guards won't be able to hold off the entire Tarls' force. I'll call for reinforcements from Adamus Orbital. They should be able to land within the hour. Just get to that power station, and quickly! All authorized destinations. Travel route is confirmed.
products only as intended. Be well.
Nice price for something we thawed out from the ice. The lightsaber is yours. Glad we could do business together, Tolls. Hand the lightsaber to me. Another interested party. I smell a bidding war. We're open to offers. Triple, huh? Deal. Men, power up your blasters. If your targets are in my way, I'm going to kill them. How do I know you're not making this up? Oh, <laughs> 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 